oxygenated blood coming from all these blood vessels and being dumped in the superior vena cava, and also the inferior vena cava delivering this deoxygenated blood, plus the coronary sinus delivering the blood from the heart organ itself. This blood will go from the right atrium to the right ventricle, and then the right ventricle will contract and will puff this blood out into the pulmonary artery or vein. Artery. This is a deoxygenated blood. And we just said there was a pulmonary artery. How can that happen? What is the definition of an artery? It's a blood vessel that takes blood away from the heart. Away. Artery takes blood away from the heart. It doesn't matter what you have inside the blood vessel. It will take whatever is inside away from the heart. So inside of the pulmonary artery, we will have deoxygenated blood going away from the heart into where? The lungs, right? So this deoxygenated blood now is going to the lungs. And why would our blood go to the lungs? to get oxygen. And then this blood now is oxygenated and it will come back to the heart via four pulmonary veins. Because veins, if you speak Spanish, you remember? Venga to the heart, right? So the lungs then will get dumped, this blood will be dumped into the pulmonary veins then got to the heart, and then this blood will go here into the left atrium. This blood will pass into the left ventricle, and now when the left ventricle contracts, this blood will go into the aorta. And here we have our beautiful aorta. 